With the Xerox High Capacity XLS Vacuum Feeder, you can feed both standard and extra long sheet up to 47.2 inches or 1.2 meters more reliably and at production volumes. The Xerox Versant 280 Press is known for its versatility, adaptive CMYK Plus technology, and media handling, including envelope printing. Add the high capacity XLS vacuum feeder. This capable press becomes even more production friendly with the ability to print large stacks of envelopes more reliably. With this feeder, envelopes are printed from the standard tray only with or without the included postcard kit or the optional large envelope support kit. We'll show you how. Many envelope sizes require no kit at all. As long as the two long side paper guides and the short edge paper guide come in contact with the envelope edge, you are good to go. You can also print envelopes with the flap open with either kit or no kit at all. When printing with flaps open, be sure to orient the envelope in the feeder with the flap edge trailing. The postcard kit supports reliable, higher volume feeding with envelopes as small as 98 millimeters by 148 millimeters or 3.9 by 5.8 inches. The kit consists of two parts, labeled A and B. They are identical, except for orientation, since each part is installed on a specific side of the standard tray. Before installing the kit parts, you'll need to remove the shutters at the bottom of the tray. Simply locate the arrow embossed on the center edge of each shutter assembly closest to the short side paper guide, here, and slide the shutter in the direction of the arrow until it is completely closed. Lift it out and do the same for the other side. Now we'll install parts A and B, which function as extenders for the long side paper guides allowing them to contact and support a smaller envelope size. Hold part A so that the A is facing you and note the thumb screw on the top, as well as the U-shaped hook that fits beneath the paper retainer on top of the guide. There's a metal tab at the bottom of part A that will fit into the slot on the bottom of the paper guide. Fit the bottom tab into the slot while placing the U-shaped hook beneath the paper retainer and line up the thumb screw with the corresponding hole. Everything should ease into place. Tighten the thumb screw and repeat the same steps with part B. Now load your envelopes. Assign the envelopes to the tray through the press user interface. Use the envelope feeder button on the user interface for standard size envelopes or create and name a custom size. Note that when entering height and width for short edge feed envelopes, the long dimension is the width. You're ready to print. The optional large envelope support kit adds additional parts that enhance the Versin 280's ability to reliably feed a taller stack of large envelopes. There are no hard and fast rules for when to use each part, although your feeder documentation will provide some general parameters. Parts C and D affixed to the top of each long side paper guide, while part E slides over the short side paper guide. Parts F1 and F2 look the same, but each provides a different amount of spring-loaded tension to support envelope stacks of varying weights. With the standard tray open, hold part C so the C is correctly oriented towards you. You'll note a thumb screw, as well as a cutout for the side guide lever. When properly positioned, this part will hold down the gray paper retainers. Simply align the thumb screw with the corresponding hole located near the center of the long side paper guide and lower the part over the retainers. Tighten the thumb screw. Repeat the same steps on the opposite side long edge paper guide. Part E provides additional support to the trail edge of your envelope stack. Simply slide it into the short edge paper guide with the E facing you so that the taller side of the part will contact the trail edge of your envelope stack. Parts F1 and F2 allow you to load a taller stack of larger envelopes by helping to level the stack. 
Choose the part that works best for your stack. F1 provides less tension than F2, so use F2 for larger, heavier stacks. Line up the arrow on each part with the arrow on the bottom of the tray. Push the part all the way forward until it clicks in place. As with any size envelope, and regardless of whether you are using one of the kits or not, define and assign the envelopes to the tray through the user interface. Here are some helpful guidelines to remember when printing envelopes with the Xerox High Capacity XLS feeder on the Versin 280 press. Load envelopes print side up. When printing on open flaps, the flap should always be trailing. Also, with open flaps, the envelope size is not detected, so you will have to create a custom stock. With the Versin 280 and the Xerox High Capacity XLS vacuum feeder, you can feed more envelopes more accurately and reliably. See what else it can do for you and your business at Xerox.com.